I have become Barcelona's manager with the only objective to win the Champions League. But we got embarrassed big time by Bayern Munich at our home ground. We are only 10th in the Champions League league phase and we got a game at Signal Iduna Park against Borussia Dortmund next. And the beast proved instantly why it is never an easy job to win at Westfalen Stadion. Sehu Girassi with a long shot, Ter Stegen with the first save of the night. Olmo, can he find Rafinha? Yes he can. Rafinha tried to cross the ball to Lewandowski and the ball hit Ryerson's hand. I believe we are going to be awarded with penalty. Can Robert Lewandowski score against his former club? Yes he can. And he's showing a bit of respect to Borussia Dortmund fans. We got a chance here. Rafinha shoots and Rafinha doubles our lead. A perfect incisive pass from Pedri. And an inch perfect finish from Rafinha as well. Just 5 minutes later Borussia created their own goal scoring chance. Serhu Girassi, Karim Adeyemi and he got one back. Ronald Araujo did not manage to intercept the ball from Serhu Girassi. And a close range shot from Adeyemi went in. In the second half, we had a chance to score from a close range free kick, but the ball hit the crossbar after Rafinha's attempt. And that was it. We managed to keep our one goal lead and got to win against Borussia Dortmund at Signal Iduna Park. As a result, we climbed up to the fourth position in the league table before the last two games. But the situation in the La Liga was even better. A terrific form from Lewandowski and Ferran Torres was enough for us to climb up to the first position with 36 points after 16 games. But the next match we are going to face Atletico de Madrid, who are just one point behind us in the league table. Atletico Madrid is in attack. Julian Alvarez from the middle and he shoots and he netted the ball. There was nothing more Andre Ter Stegen could do there. We got a chance on the break here. Lamin Yamal tries to find Lewandowski. Plays with Pedri. Pedri, can you score there? Yes, you can. Our number eight with an equalizer. In the 88th minute, Atletico de Madrid created the only chance of the second half and they even managed to put the ball into the net. But Antoine Griezmann was offside with a tiny margin. We got saved there. That was it. Referee blows the full-time whistle. We share the point with Atletico de Madrid. And I believe draw is a fair result for this game. Let's check the academy where we do have an update. Now we can switch position for Ramirez to become a right winger. He is currently 65 rated center midfielder. And after converting him to a right winger, he went up by 2 and his currently 67 rated 79 to 94 potential i want him to firstly obtain white playmaker player role i truly believe this guy is a special talent so maybe we can try to promote him to the senior team in upcoming months but before that we got the super copa de España final against real madrid and right now we can win our first trophy of the season not a most prestigious one but it is a trophy nevertheless and of course it is yet another el clasico the previous match against blancos we lost and were by far the worst team on the pitch. But this time, we looked so much better. Real Madrid presses very high. And if we beat this press, we got a chance for a counter-attack. Daniel Olmo finds Frankie de Jong. We are one-on-one -on -one with the keeper de Jong. Shoots and Thibaut Courtois. What an amazing save from a Belgian. But we got a corner kick here. Cross comes in. Araujo. Ah, I don't know why, but we got penalty here. What just happened there? Bruh. Nothing. Let's double check. Let's see from this angle. Ronald Araujo shoots the ball. Oh, there were a little bit of touch to Rudiger's hand there. So I guess it is a pen. Anyways, we take it. Let's try to convert this penalty. Lewandowski with a penalty and he scores. We got our first goal in the El Clasico. Yamal plays back to Lewandowski. Across to Rafinha. And Omo even managed to shoot there. But the shot went wide. We got yet another corner kick. Rafinha to Lewandowski. No. Lewandowski shoots and what a save from Thibaut Courtois. We got a free kick in a dangerous situation. Lewandowski, can you convert this? And Thibaut Courtois with another brilliant save. The last attack of a match goes to Real Madrid. Modric plays it Vinicius Jr. Across to Rodrigo, plays back to Valverde. Gavi with an interception. And yes, guys, referee blows the full-time whistle. We took our revenge from Real Madrid for the previous loss in El Clasico. But this one is much sweeter, as we simultaneously won our first trophy of the season, Super Copa de España. We are in fantastic form right now. First place in the La Liga. In the Champions League, we are fourth. Robert Lewandowski is the best goal scorer of the La Liga with 15 goals. All our attackers performing on a highest level. Ferran Torres, 
Rafinha. Even our midfielders are doing great like Frankie De Jong and Pedri. But one particular player, the best young player in the world, Lamin Yamal, is having a nightmare of the season with only 2 goals and 0 assists in 16 games. That's why I think we need to get reinforcement in the right flank of the attack. And we got one last chance to sign Leo Messi for 6 months on loan deal from Inter Miami. And that is exactly what we did. Messi returns to Barcelona for 6 months to make maybe win his last Champions League and got his well-deserved farewell in Barcelona. For some weird reason he's wearing the number 22, we are going to return back to him his iconic number 10. Lionel Messi made his return to the Champions League in the match against Benfica. The first big chance of the night we missed on the 9th minute when Rafinha put the ball wide after Yamal's sloped pass. De Jong finds Lamin Yamal. Yamal with the shot and Trubin with the save. And that save was not the only one from Trubin that night. He was on the mood of denying every attempt from us. Messi finds Lamin Yamal in the flank. Yamal shoots no. and Trubin with the save. Messi with the shot and Alatoli Trubin with the save. But in the 58th minute, Benfica managed to open the score from a counter attack. Despite conceding that goal, we continued to attack hard that night. Messi, Lewandowski, can he score there? Anatoly Trubin with yet another save. We managed to pull one back in the 73rd minute. Rafinha was the first on a ball after a lucky rebound in the opponent's box. Eventually much ended with 1-1 score and as a result we are 6th in the league table before the last match against Atalanta. And if we win that one, we will definitely guarantee our place in the round of 16. The last game in the Champions League league phase was the match where Leo announced to the world his return to the biggest football stage. A long shot from Leo Messi and a, what a strike from Messi! An unbelievable long range goal and we take the lead. Soon after that we doubled our lead. Lewandowski could have easily scored by himself but he decided to pass the ball to his teammate. Messi continued his magic after our second goal as well, reducing an unbelievable through ball to De Jong, but Frankie's shot got blocked. And eventually we won the game against Atalanta 2-0, securing the 4th place in the Champions League table. In the round of 16, we are matched up against Leipzig. We definitely have the quality to eliminate Leipzig and progress to the quarterfinals. But before that, I am going to promote Fran Ramirez to the senior team and he is on the bench in the match against Las Palmas. We are in the phase of attack, a beautiful passing movement, Pedri finds Rafinha and we scored our first of the night. And a substitution for us as well, Ferran Ramirez is coming in instead of Rafinha. Ferran Ramirez with his first shot and it got blocked. A La Masia talent Ferran Ramirez had one more chance in the dying seconds of the game. What can he do here? Cuts inside, shoots and fantastic save from Ugurshan. Eventually we won the game 2-0, securing 5 points lead over Real Madrid after 25 games in the La Liga. But soon enough we have our first match of the round of 16 in the Champions League against Leipzig. RB Leipzig proved me so wrong underestimating their team. Great pass to Loi Openda, Openda shoots and the ball hit the post. In the 61st minute Leipzig punished us for being quite mediocre on the pitch. Loi Openda is completely free, his shot got denied by a post but the rebound goes to him as well. A terrible mistake in defense and we are getting punished right away. Rafinha cuts inside to Lewandowski and we reply immediately. Robert Lewandowski with an equalizer just couple of minutes after we consider it. However, RB Leipzig were definitely better that night and managed to score the winner in the 81st minute again of the rebound. And eventually we lost this game to RB Leipzig 2-1. We are heading to the second match of the round of 16 and only win will let us to proceed in the tournament. But surprisingly for us, Leipzig started forcing their attack in the second match as well. Benjamin Sheshko shoots, Mark andre Ter Stegen with the save. However, we started the second half magnificent. Alde to Pedri, Pedri with an equalizer. Great reach there, ball roll inside and top pins finish from Pedri. Soon Lamin Yamal got involved in the game as well. We have great opportunity to score here but Tulashi with a save. How Lewandowski did miss there. 
Lewandowski with a header and a goal line clearance from Leipzig defender. The normal time ended with an equal aggregate score and match went to an extra time. And we created yet another goal scoring chance right in the beginning of an extra time. Rafinha with a busted pace and he misses the shot. And when everything indicated that the match will go to a penalty shootout, a disaster struck. What a chance for Leipzig! Anderson Taliska to Openda! And Leipzig scores on 111th minute. And we are in a verge of being eliminated. The only hope left for us was the GOAT himself. We got the final chance to attack here. Daniel Olmo releases Messi in the right flank. Messi with his technical dribbling. He finds himself in the opposition box. A near post shot and Messi equalizes the score in 120th minute with the last shot of the game. Saving Barcelona one more time in his amazing career. And it is going to be a penalty shootout. Messi with the first shot. I was never in doubt. Mark Andre Ter Stegen. Can you take this one from Openda? No. The second player from us is Rafinha, and Rafinha also scores. Anderson Taliska. Mark Andre Ter Stegen with a save. Brinky De Jong tries a Panenka shot and a fantastic goal from De Jong. Ter Stegen, and he didn't manage to get yet another shot. Daniel Olmo. He was not good at the field. But he scored his penalty. If Ter Stegen gets this one, we will win the tie. Xavi Simons scored down the middle. Robert Lewandowski with the last shot of the game. And he scores! Robert Lewandowski with the winner. We somehow managed to turn the tables in this tie. What kind of thriller this was. We were so lucky to have Lionel Messi in our squad. Who did Messi type things? Equalizing on the last seconds, on the dying seconds of the extra time. And we will need these kind of clutch moments in the upcoming matches as well.